a beautiful day in Brussels. The sky is clear, there isn't a cloud. I can go out on my bike later and it'll be good to clear my head. I haven't posted a video for a while now. Um, London always takes it out of me whenever I go back. It's like being injected with dirty heroin. It's too much for my poor little brain. Um, but the book launch went well and Alistair Campbell came and, and many people came. Uh, people from school that I hadn't seen for 30 years. That was emotional. And people from Facebook that I hadn't met before. And, and yeah, I, I, I think it was a success. I hope so. I just want to help people and spread my message. And, um, yeah, I did get on well when I was in London. Um, very quickly, you know, just started to go down. A good example of this was, um, my friend was trying to keep an eye on me and scale force wind and Fred told me to go on the Boris bike and he said to take the tube and I said no, no, get the bike anyway, he went and got the tube I got on the Boris bike, I was cycling it was really windy, I nearly got blown away and then I went into a shop and when I opened my wallet to pay my card wasn't there I thought, shit, where's my card? And then, then I realised I left it in the in the Boris bike machine. So I was like, shit. And, and I, I literally ran out and got in a cab, and I was having a panic attack. And and the driver was like, just, just, just don't worry, love. It's just a bank card. And I was just freaking out. But you don't understand because I, you know, I just was in a state. And then we got to the the the, the stand and. I ran across the road and didn't look at the traffic and the card miraculously was still there and I just literally couldn't believe it and two seconds later a couple arrived and if I'd just been a fraction later it would have been gone and then I cycled um, to Tate Modern and I was you know cycling too fast and I was swearing at you know drivers and got into a fight with a bus, um, yeah, it was just like crazy, and then I was walking, and Fred was telling me to jump into the river, and I was taking pictures of the, of the Thames, and it was so morbid, and it's just bizarre, I mean, London is bizarre, it's, it's just a bizarre place, it's, it's, it's crazy, and whenever I go to London, I always meet famous people in lifts, it's really, really weird. I I was getting into the lift and then the door opened and Boris Becker was in there. And I was like, fuck. And I just said, hello, Boris. And then, and then I was getting out and they thought I was going to the gym and I said, no, I'm going to the toilet because the toilets are nicer on this floor. And, and then he said, can you take my... No, he didn't say, can you take? He just said, go with her to his wife because his wife needed to pee so I was there talking to Boris Becker's wife taking to the toilet and it was just surreal and she took my number and then I took her back to Boris but that always happens to me like who the fuck meets Boris Becker in the lift this always happens to me it's bizarre so I'm glad to be out of, out of London because London does my head in. I can't deal with London anymore. It always brings me down, brings me low and everyone's so busy and nobody has any time and it's so fast and yeah. At my book launch, all my books were there. This is a book that I wrote when I was I was really unwell. And I read a poem from 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 this book. God there are so many books that I've written, it's not even funny. 
But this this poem is called um, The White Wall. Um, yeah, I'll read it. Many people, I've got many people to read my poems and yeah, sometimes I pick the wrong poem. That's a whole other story.